Our next talk and the final talk of the session is titled Open vSwitch Packet Processing Optimization, a story on ARM architecture. And uh, we have uh, Yan Qin Wei here from, Yan Qing Wei here from, uh, from ARM to tell us about it. Thank you. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, everyone. Uh, yeah, today I will talk about the OVS packet processing op optimization on ARM. Uh, this is my first talk on the OVS conference. And uh, we start to investigate and try to improve, and, uh, improve the OVS data pass performance on ARM uh, from around uh, one year ago. And uh, I did some benchmarking and profiling for the OVS DBDK data pass and uh, find a little uh, performance gap and, uh, uh, and uh, put some effort to improve it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This is the agenda for this talk. Uh, we will talk about the performance optimization for ARM and the stability enhancement, um, and also about the public CI ARM and uh, what we are planning to do in the future. Okay. So the performance. Uh, uh, of the OVS DBDK pass uh, uh, is different uh, in different cases. Uh, uh, this, uh, this, uh, these are the our focus uh, case: uh, DPCLs, EMC, and partial offloading, and uh, some uh, lookup table library, and uh, the DPCLs lookup by the SV SVE. Okay. Uh, first, let's talk about the, the DPCLs improvement. Yeah, because the DPCLs based forwarding is the most important uh, performance uh, impact on the OVS DBDK data pass. So uh, we're benchmarking uh, this case uh, in the ARM server. Uh, in this in this test case, we disable the EMC lookup and only uh, all the flow where Look up DPCS directory, and we found uh, the we found the uh, when the subtables of the DPCS increased, the performance decreased quickly. Uh, the most the most uh, uh, cost of the CPU is the DPCS lookup. Uh, we can see uh, around uh, more than 80 uh, percent uh, CPU cost. Uh, uh, for the DPCS lookup in case of 10 subtable lookup. Uh, so uh, this is the uh, bottleneck. Uh, uh, in, in the DPCS lookup, there are two uh, time consuming operation. One is hash calculation. Uh, x86 has implemented the CRC33 intrinsics based hash calculation. Uh, so the ARM has the similar instructions, and uh, we can do the same things uh, with the x86. So we followed uh, hash implementation uh, uh, from x86 and implemented by the ARM CRC33 instruction. And uh, another thing to do uh, uh, done is uh, to uh, implement the count one bits uh, by the neon v count in chain six. Uh, this function, this operation, uh, is for the flow map and the packet uh, bitmap. It is significantly impacted lookup performance. So after these two improvement, we achieve around 15% uh, performance uplift in the ARM server. Um, Okay, so the second case we test is uh, for the for the EMC lookup forwarding. Uh, the EMC lookup has a high lookup performance, but we found the issue uh, in case of a uh, multi-flow. Uh, we can see uh, in the 1k flows and the 10k flow cases. Uh, 
their performance decrease uh, quickly. Uh, the default size of the EMC is 8K. So the 10K flows uh, uh, should be, uh, should be uh, used up to all the EMC. Uh, so, uh, but for the 1K flow, the EMC lookup, uh, uh, EMC performance uh, decrease also. So this is a problem. Uh, the problem is because uh, the cash line, um, the cash line missing, uh, because the EMC, uh, each entry in the EMC, take more than uh, around the, the two cash line. Uh, uh, for one K flows, it uh, takes more than two uh, two K cash line. So the cash line uh, is always evicted by uh, different flows, and uh, the cash line were missing. So one solution is to prefetch the EMC, but uh, unfortunately, this prefetch will in impact the performance in the case of single flow. So this patch is not merged by community. Uh, community. Uh, another bottleneck is the mini flow extract. Uh, I think uh, this is because uh, the mini flow extractor need to pass uh, many kind of protocols. So there are many heavy branch over there. So what we want to do is to reduce the branch uh, in the mini flow extract. Uh, but uh, it seems this improvement uh, impact the uh, legacy uh, implementation. So, uh, so this patch is still uh, need to be refined. Uh, we will keep on uh, working for the uh, EMC data pass and the try to improve uh, the performance on ARM. Okay, uh, the third case we are uh, looking into is the partial offloading data pass. The partial, uh, the, the offloading uh, the partial offloading data pass uh, need to offload the packed parser and the cache table lookup. It skips the mini flow extract and the EMC, SMC, DPCS lookup. Uh, but uh, it introduced a Mark II flow table lookup. So uh, uh, when we're profiling uh, the, this data pass, we found the uh, the 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 uh, the Mark II flow table lookup take around 20% of the CPU load. Um, I think it can be improvement uh, improved because the flow mark is always assigned the lowest available linear index. It, sh it should be an index, so we don't need to implement it by a, a hash table. So uh, we plan to introduce a scalable direct address table to, uh, to the OVS library and apply it into the partial offloading data pass. Okay. Uh, and uh, another uh, potential improvement is about the lookup table. This is not the table we just mentioned, um, uh, such as the DPCS and EMC. It is uh, an array that replaces runtime comp computation with a simple array indexing operation. Uh, for example, in the OVS library, there's an AES lookup table and the CRC33 lookup table and the uh, and hex uh, digit uh, uh, lookup table. Um, uh, fortunately, uh, the ARM has a table as IMD instruction. Uh, TBL and the TBX instruction can look up, uh, look up bytes uh, in four, uh, four times uh, 16 byte tables. Uh, so it can uh, accelerate the uh, lookup table performance uh, by applying the new instruction into it. And the TBL and the TBX can be combined to use. Uh, for large table lookup. So it should be valid for all of 
these three library improvement. But uh, I'm not sure uh, there's, uh, what, uh, there's some other li uh, lookup library in the OVS lib. Uh, this, this instruction should be applied all of them. Okay, uh, and then let's talk about the future. Uh, maybe uh, maybe uh, some uh, we, we 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 are familiar with the neon feature. Maybe not. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, for the future, we will uh, we will implement the SVE uh, in the ARM64. The SVE is the future uh, uh, for the scalable uh, vector extension. Uh, it has a longer SIMD registers. So uh, it is very helpful for the DPCS lookup because the, in the middle flow, each element is 64 bits. Uh, it's, uh, uh, but the near register is only uh, 128 bits. It means uh, one year instruction can only uh, process two elements. Uh, but uh, SVE register can take more elements than NEO, so it should be helpful for the DPCS lookup. And it will support the gather load and the scatter store. Uh, and, and it also supports the gather prefetch. So it is good at to process, uh, processing the memory, uh, not continuous. Uh, sometimes in the DPCS lookup, we need to process uh, the packet uh, not continuous because some packet has hit the sub, uh, hit the lookup table uh, before this processing, so the packet is not continuous. Uh, and another important feature in the SVE is the plan prediction. Uh, uh, there's an the example uh, in this uh, uh, diagram. Uh, the protection uh, the, the prediction means. Uh, the LAN is valid uh, or not for this uh, SVE instructions. Uh, you, you can see there are four uh, for parallel compu uh, computation uh, for this instruction, and the only two LAN is valid. So uh, it can control which LAN uh, should be computed. Uh, so it's uh, very useful for the key matching on individual uh, uh, individual lens under control of a, a predicate register. Okay. Uh, uh, let's talk about the speled, uh, spe uh, stabi uh, stability enhancement on ARM. Uh, sometimes the uh, stability is more important than performance because if uh, your program crashed, the performance is meaningless. And uh, the ARM has a weaker memory model than the x86, so there are some difference uh, to process uh, the memory ordering. And uh, uh, in some cases, the crit crit critical data paths were, uh, may be blocked by the control plan. So it will impact the latency and jitter. Uh, sometimes the latency is uncontrollable because the uh, critical paths will be pended. Uh, another thing is about the ARM atomic feature. Uh, ARM introduced uh, atomic feature in the 8.1, and it is helpful for the to uh, some large system scaling. Okay. Uh, from code review for the uh, obvious state pass, we found the spe uh, stability risk in the correct uh, con concurrent data access. <coughs> now the PMD thread uh, runs some fast and slow, pa uh, slow data pass, but it needs interacted with some other thread. For example, uh, the flow management, uh, the reload queue, or uh, offloading, or some data pass parameter configuration, or the status report from the virtual port. So it needs to, uh, to, to access the data concurrently. Uh, currently, uh, in the obvious uh, upstream, uh, there are three kinds of 
uh, protection. One is the lock. It is very safe, but it uh, sometimes impacts the performance and uh, it is broken. Uh, the second is a single atomic operation. It is uh, only valid for the independent uh, variables. Uh, the third one is the uh, atomic synchronization point plus some normal data access. Uh, it is uh, very complex. It has complex in interaction between uh, different uh, threads, and it needs the careful memory ordering. Okay, so the the memory uh, the memory model is different between the x86 and the ARM64. Uh, in the x86, only the load can be reordered before the store. Uh, but for the ARM, load, 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 store, 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 load can be reordered. So we need to be careful uh, in lock free data access. Uh, uh, the observation order for the memory access may be different from the program order. Okay, uh, oh, sorry. Sorry, uh, uh, but this issue is uh, hard to reproduce in the lab. Uh, so uh, we found uh, some issues uh, by the code review. Uh, there are some memory battery missing in the read write concurrent uh, uh, data access libraries. For example, the CMAP. Uh, there's a uh, release thread fence uh, missing here. So the uh, right crypto region can be reordered before the uh, store release counter. This counter is used to protect the right. Uh, another, another thing is uh, it's best to use one-way battery instead of two-way battery. The release memory fence and the acquire memory fence is two-way battery. Uh, and the ARM supported the load store, uh, load store uh, atomic uh, operation with uh, uh, only synchronization point in one way. Uh, for example, the load acquire and the store release. So in the p-vector library, uh, we can use the store release the new size after the insert new element and the load acquire the new size before iteration. So this also can improve the performance because uh, it, uh, it can be reordered uh, from other way. Oh, sorry. OK. Yeah. OK. So another thing so we want to improve is to try to use non-blocking uh, lockup. Uh, CMAP is a very important library in the OVS. Uh, it is widely used for the uh, slow pass, the fast pass, and offloading pass. So, but uh, the read may be blocked by some other write threads uh, because there's a counter to protect the write uh, for the node and the uh, hash pair. Uh, before the write, uh, the counter will plus one uh, to become odd. And after write, it will a plus one to become even. And the read will, block, will be blocked uh, <coughs> until the counter becomes even. Uh, so let's uh, consider the, the case. Uh, if the counter become odd, and the uh, right thread is scheduled out after making the counter be odd, uh, be, be even, uh, the read thread will be blocked. Uh, and the read thread sometimes is the critical data path. So uh, we try to remove the blocking for the CMAP. Uh, uh, we introduce a valid bitmap as guide variable for hash node pair. Uh, before the write, the valid bit is set to zero, and after write, the valid bit is set to one. 
uh, and the counter plus one to indicate a new update uh, for the node hash pair. Uh, this algorithm uh, has no spinning and waiting for write threads to complete. So it is non-blocking for readers. This patch is under community review. If you are interested uh, in this improvement, uh, please review this patch. Okay, another, uh, another thing we want to remove the blocking is about the uh, lock-free FIFO. Uh, sometimes uh, we don't want to do uh, many time-consuming things in the critical path, for example, to configure the off offloading uh, rules. Uh, so we decouple it into other threads. But uh, in the current implementation, it uses a mutex lock to protect this uh, queue, FIFO queue. Uh, actually, it's only a, a linked list. It's not a, 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 it's a linked list used for the FIFO queue. So, uh, well, we want to introduce a lock-free FIFO queue into OVS library, uh, but uh, it needs some atomics, atomics operation uh, uh, to support. This, uh, this uh, lock-free FIFO queue needs two CAS operation in the NQ and the one CAS operation in the DQ. <coughs> uh, but there's uh, ABA problems in the CS. If uh, if the the point become uh, uh, become twice and they come back to the original ones, uh, the CS cannot de detect the modifications. But uh, the ARM implement the CS via the LLSC. The LLSC uh, is a retry. Uh, uh, we'll have a retry. Uh, uh, after the store uh, uh, store condition, the store condition can detect any modification for this uh, pointer. So the LSC uh, can solve the ABA problems. Uh, 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 and the uh, ARM has uh, atomic features in A.1. Uh, in the uh, obvious DBDK data pass, there are some counter uh, updates uh, sh uh, need to be shared by the multi-PMD thread. So uh, when the counter update uh, by the different calls, the cache line will bouncing between this call, uh, between this calls. So uh, we can use the uh, new atomic instruction uh, from the uh, uh, ARM 8.1. Uh, it is sometimes supported a remote, uh, far atomic. Uh, this far atomic, uh, do this op optimal, uh, 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 atomic operations uh, remotely. Uh, it should not need to uh, refill the L1 cache line and direct uh, make the uh, make the atomic operation in the uh, remotely. For example, the L3 cache or some uh, memory level. Okay, and uh, the last thing we are doing is the public CI on ARM. I think the public CI is very important for the stability. Uh, because uh, not all people can uh, have an ARM server or ARM machine to test the OVS, but not all the uh, modification or all the patches uh, can, uh, can be, uh, behave the same between x86 and ARM. So we, we need to enable the public CI on ARM. The Travis CI has been supported on native ARM server. So uh, we are trying to running the build jobs on ARM. And the most of the build jobs are passed. Uh, so we uh, raise some, uh, submit some patches uh, uh, to the upstream. But there are some UT cases failure on ARM. Um, but uh, we have a uh, little knowledge about uh, these cases. Uh, it uh, seems about the control plane or some uh, some obvious controller. Uh, there are two cases failure, and uh, uh, I attach the, the 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 log and the um, the test suit log here. Uh, so just a request here from community. So if you have some 
uh, uh, suggestion or some um, finding for this uh, failure case, please let us know. Thank you. Okay, that is a uh, future work uh, for our, uh, from our side. Uh, we will keep on uh, improving the memory ordering and the non-blocking optimization for the concurrent data access and keep uh, improving the fast pass performance and try to enable the ARM features in the OBS. And we are uh, uh, keep working for the public ARM CI. Thank you. All right, let's thank our speaker. So we're out of time for, uh, for this talk and this session, and it's time for lunch. Uh, I only have uh, two quick notes uh, before lunch. Uh, first of all, uh, we're going to do a, a photograph of all the attendees uh, by the, the, the stairway at uh, 1255. Uh, also, uh, if you're speaking in any of the afternoon sessions, uh, please make sure uh, that Anis, uh, over, standing over by the door there in red, uh, has, uh, has your slides. So uh, go eat lunch.